First dates can be very nerve-wracking. Every girl wants to look their best without looking as if they're making too much effort. As requested, here is a first date makeup tutorial so hopefully you'll have one less thing to worry about for your big day. This look is all about flirty, warm, neutral eyes and romantic, glowy pink cheeks. To me, first date makeup shouldn't be too empowering. I think it should be subtly beautiful, enhancing your natural beauty. You're probably going to be up all night because of excitement and butterflies in your tummy, so conceal away the darkness under your eyes with some concealer. Using my ring finger, I'm patting it down very gently, and the warmth of my finger should melt the concealer down, giving a smoother finish. I'm only going to apply a little foundation for a natural look, concentrating on my nose and mouth to cover up my redness, and on the forehead and bridge of my nose for highlight. Remember, foundation is supposed to look like your own skin, so don't pile too much foundation on or else your skin will look caked up. If your eyes is a the picture, then your brows is a perfect frame that enhances it. They add expression to your eyes, so for a more kinder and more approachable look, don't have them too thin or arched. In general, fuller looking brows tend to look more youthful. Applying a base for the eyes will keep your eyeshadow long lasting and crease free. And because pink is a warm and girly color, it will create a hint of sweetness to the eyes. This is actually my favourite neutral eyeshadow quad because the colours are so warm and beautiful. With the lightest eyeshadow, which is this nutmeggy colour, I'm highlighting my inner eyelids to bring in warmth and light. And whatever is left over, I sweep it across my bride bone for a subtle highlight. Now with this fawn coloured eyeshadow, I'm applying this on the outer half of my eyelids, bringing the colour halfway up. This will give a subtle warm tint to the eyes. Next, I apply a warm brown eyeshadow to the edges to deepen the eyes. The colour is darker on the edges, but most of the eyes still remains looking light. This keeps the eyes looking fresh and non-heavy. With a tinsy bit of this deep plum eyeshadow, I make circular motions with my brush to add more definition. This will make the eyes look bigger and brighter without it looking heavy and dark. So just be gentle and really just take your time blending out everything. Now with a brown pencil liner, I'm just marking the edge of my lower lash line and then with a small detail brush, I'm blending out the eyeliner and dragging it out into a soft line. This will make the eye stand out so much more. If you don't have a small detail brush, it's actually fine to just use a sponge tip applicator or perhaps a q-tip. I'm highlighting my inner corners with a shimmer pink eyeshadow. It doesn't look as bold as a gold or white and has more of a sweetie girly factor to it. I really think this step can really allure someone to stare into your eyes. It's almost hypnotic. And now with my black liquid liner, I'm just working in very small strokes, very close to my lash line. As always, I'm going to wing out the ends because it gives a very feminine classy effect. Adding a pair of flirty lashes will really make your eyes look extra twinkly. I recommend something not too dramatic. These lashes are pretty natural, but they have more volume in the edges. Adding a coat of mascara on my lower lashes and these warm, alluring eyes are complete. Thank goodness for lipstick because I have such pale lips so I always look dead without some sort of colour. And I'm just going for a natural, pigmented lip. Nothing too empowering, we're just keeping the features looking very balanced. So now for a little bit of face contouring, I'm using a powder that's a few shades darker than my skin tone and I'm just going to sculpt my face, starting at uh, my temples and then moving down in the hollows of my cheeks, not passing this point if you want a slimmer face. And I'm pretty much just moving my brush upwards and blending as I go. You're better off just building it up rather than just applying too much colour all at one go. Of course, don't forget to bring the colour down into your jawline and to your neck for an even distribution of colour. Now my face looks slimmer and bronzed up, cool. I can apply blush for glowy pink cheeks. I always feel more special wearing pink blush rather than peach. It brightens up my cheeks right away and the glow it gives is incredible. Sweet cheeks for the win.
Okay, did my hair and added more lip color. Last step is to finally mattify the skin with a little powder. I'm applying it in an A shape, just sweeping from the center of my forehead, down to my nose, and over my mouth. This mattifies the oilier areas and leaves the rest of my face looking glowy and healthy. Okay, so this look is done and now I'm ready for my pretend date. This look is subtle but beautiful. The pink glowy cheeks really complement the warm sultry eyes to give a romantic sweet look. The makeup should work well with any outfit and can be worn for any occasion. So not just for dates you know, it's actually one of my favorite looks to wear just because it makes me look so radiant and fresh faced. Thank you so much for watching everyone and as always, smile and be yourself and you'll be okay.